All right, well, there's a few people that were talking about these V2 Minkotas, the power drive. Um, mine here is a 54 pound thrust with just a 12 volt battery. Since I don't have electric here, as you can see, I'm kind of way out here and I don't have electric, so I did not want to pull two batteries out every time. And this is actually one that I bought for my old boat uh and it pushed it around pretty good this one's a little bit bigger but then my old boat had leaky tubes and used to fill with water so i'm thinking the weight differential might not be too bad as long as it pushes me around a little bit that's all i, I that's all i really want out of it uh, as you can see i know uh lake living i believe his name is he wanted to see how the front end looks and there's that right there and it's flush to the bracket that's a quick release bracket on there. Uh, the extra wires you're seeing there, that's for my depth finder, which I have one on the back of the boat that came with it. And then I've also put one on the front here, right there. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna wire all that and make it work. Um, on the old boat, it was pretty simple because it always stayed on here, but we don't plan on keeping this on here all the time. So I got to become a little creative with it. Uh, basically what I did here was used one of those Anderson hookups. I'm going to see how that works. I've never used one before. I think that uh, it should work. Uh, but that's basically how I did that. And then if you do want to put a trolling motor on it, and it's kind of hard to see because the sun is blowing or is coming right at me. Um, the way I did that was that... Uh, if you can see it, there's a spring right there, wire tie up there, comes down, and then basically uh, I have a wire tie there. Now what I did there was I drilled two holes in it, put a wire tie around it. I still got to cut the end, but that was the best way to do it. There is a video online that shows you how to do this uh, on YouTube. If you just look up adding a depth finder to a v, uh, power drive V2, you'll find it on there. The way he did it was with a stick button and a wire tie, and I tried that with a little sticky square thing, and it kept falling off, so I it's like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna have to drill a couple holes and put it in here, and it seems to work a lot better. As you can see right here, at one point, I got it stuck in between right here, and it tore it up just a little bit. I put some of that one kind of tape on it that's uh, supposed to seal, but eventually I'm going to take it off there and put some uh, um, uh, heat shrink on it. So that's and I'm that. Sprague on this. Here's my nice new floor to see grass. I had the regular vinyl on it, and then we had a crease that was right there, and. They took it back and they put this seagrass on it and we're really liking it. So, uh, so the way I did the battery was I came right here and to me it looked like a place for the battery. I ordered this battery right here online from bestboatwire.com I think it's called. And uh, it came pre-made. Um, I had to cut this one off. And then I, what I did is actually cut this one off, put these on, which are the Minkota snap downs, which I like better. So that's the ones I'm using. And I've had these for a while, so I didn't have to really pay extra for them. There's my 60 amp fuse right there. And then I took the end of that black wire, I put it on here and put it on the other side of my fuse, which is down here. Um for my positive wire. Now I know that's black, but it's got the red top, got the positive on it, so I don't think it'll ever be a problem. These just snap on, and you can just take them and throw them down here. They snap on and off, no big deal. And then I can remove my battery and take it home and charge it. And actually my battery's getting old. It says 613, so I'll probably have to be looking at getting a new one here shortly. Um, I'm going to try to put a top on this battery too. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that or not, but I'm going to look at it. I think I might be able to. I might have to adjust it around a little bit more, but I think basically everything's set up 
to where I've now got power to my trolling motor, which is a big part of what I want to do tonight. And now I've got to figure out how I'm going to do my depth finder. And if anything, I don't necessarily need that depth finder on front all the time. I can just wrap that wire up and just wire tie it just to whatever up here and just let it sit. And that may be what I do for now until I can figure out the best way to hook it up. I'd like to hook it up to the live well wire, but it's a little hard trying to trace it out, trying to figure out where it's at. So I'm going to keep looking for it. I might even call them and see if they have a wiring diagram that would show me exactly where it is. But other than that, that's it. Um, like I posted online, I put mine onto the side because my wife said, no way you're going to put it down the middle and take up my place where I'm going to sit while you fish. So that's, that's just the deal. I had to deal with it, but um, on the old one, it worked fine on the side. It pushed it around, you know, pretty well and got me into, you know, spots where I could go, uh, you know, like some coves and down the small creeks that we have here off the Ohio. They're just small. Well, sometimes they call them rivers. I call them creeks, but, uh, you know, and, and they're, and that's great for just taking a little cruise back through those things when you start getting way back in them where they start getting a little shallow. So that's it, man. That's all there was to it. Uh, hoping that it all works out. I'm hoping that Anderson plug works out. And I will definitely uh, be uh, watching it closely as I do it. Actually, here's probably a good shot of that spring. Now, I found that spring at Ace Hardware. It was in the drawers, not ones that are in a bag up on the, hanging on the pegboard. So... You got to find one that can't be too loose and it can't be too tight. You got to have some play there. And there's one there that kind of looks like that. I, it, that's been three years since I've done that, so I can't really tell you exactly what it is. Um, and basically the way I got the wire tie in was just pop that top off, which was real easy because there's nothing really in there anyway. So but that's it. Thanks for watching. And we'll hopefully see do some videos on the river again this year and we'll see you on the river if you ever get up towards cincinnati area give me a holler we'll go out boating see you